Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we're here at the official Facebook page of Figure Fantasy. And let's take a look at the teaser that dropped yesterday. It will be a new figure that will be dropping on Friday, definitely, because we didn't have any banners for any figures this week, this uh, past Friday. So here it is, a Mysterious Visitor is coming soon. So this was dropped 20, 20 hours ago. It seems like the figure have in figurines have quietly invited a new friend to Master's home. Yuki has heard her sing and uh, can Master hear it as well. So my best guess for this one is going to be Hatsune Miko. She's the only one that, that has a video on singing. And um, this will have a very big impact on the current teams especially for let's red because she's going to be belonging to let's red so let's take a look at what she can do and how she's, she's going to turn around that brand okay so we are also here at the japanese version of uh, figure fantasy which is figure story and we are here at hatsune, hatsune miko's evaluation and performance let's take a look at directly her skills so uh, before that her rank is going to be s and she is going to be a 9.1 out of 10 points so take note of that guys and um, just to give you an overview of what she can do she performs well together with summons the more allies she has in the field the bigger damage she does Okay, so as you can see here, uh, let's take a look at her initial attack. So randomly attacks one enemy in the front row. If you want to level up this one, your normal attack damage will be up to 50%. For her ultimate skill, initial energy is 10, then recovery is going to be 6 uh, per second. So the effect, it will, it will dance for 6 seconds and attack 3 random bodies. Increases damage dealt to enemy summons by 30%. So if there are enemy summons in the field, um, across your, you know, across the field, then uh, she will deal 30% um, uh, more damage. If you want to level up this skill, increases dance damage by 5% for each ally or someone in the field. So take note that uh, her ultimate increases in damage if you were building her with a summon team take note you'll be needing suzumi and uh, the other one is going to be harriet to build uh, a decent uh what they call this a decent summon team and also aoi for that matter so for level two each time a summon appears there is a 60 percent chance to activate one dance attack so also another another attack for her uh, uh, every time a summon appears I think she's going to be OP, guys. Um, some some say she's going to be overrated, but I think she's going to be pulling off a lot of attacks or a lot of uh, damage as long as summons keep on coming. So this is going to be her passive here, uh, friendship. At <laughs> and anyway, just <laughs> let's read this one. At the beginning of the battle, you will leave the field and enter uh, the cheering state. The cheering state. Hatsune Miko will make a coordinated attack with a 30% chance every time an ally makes a normal attack. So every time um, your allies attack, she doesn't attack, uh, provided that she passes the 30% chance. That's already good as well. So again, she's, she she uh, she has a lot of multiple attacks coming from her from her ultimate alone and also her passive if you want to level up this one at hatsune miko has a 10 percent chance of making a coordinated attack each time an ally summon uh, makes a normal attack so not only does she do a coordinated attack with allies also with summons so and at level two summons a hologram where you will you where you where you when you left the field okay so again the, i think the most important here is is the coordinated attack um it's going to be big in terms of damage she's going to be militarist guys and she's going to be in your let's red for exclusive skills increase the damage dealt by 15 percent when there are no enemies around and increases own attack by five and increases consensus rate by 10 percent and at level 2, increases damage dealt by 25% when there are no other enemies around. Okay, 
So I just wanna take a look at the, if I may say, um, you can see here her hologram. So holograms basically will, I think will be serving as bait for your enemies. And uh, what else? Ideally guys, the team, recommended team is going to be this one. Uh, Megan definitely, uh, Suzumi, Harriet, Preferably, you're gonna go with um, with Aoi or a healer for this one. Aoi will, will will give you shields and give you buffs for your summons. While if you wanna be survivable, then you should be able to bring along a healer for this one. So again, uh, Megan, uh, Suzumi, and Harriet will be your top three. Aoi will be your fourth and. The fifth slot would belong to Hatsune Miko. Okay, so gears here. Our recommended gears would be attack, definitely. Um, I think the next would be critical rate. Um, critical damage is really big. The default is usually at 180, so you don't have to bolster it. It's better to bolster your critical attack, especially that she does um, attack frequently with her coordinated attack. And... What else? So we have here a permanent or recommended badges. There, there are a couple here that you can use. Okay, so here it is. So again, she is with she is a militarist. Then she is with Let's Red. So again, another um good reinforcement for mili for Let's Red as a faction or as a brand. So I think she's gonna change the landscape, guys. Um, your summon team would really be viable this time more viable than before um probably uh, probably i think you could take summon team already in in pvp with her included so again we'll, we'll have to see how she does and how she impacts the meta including pvp and pve so anyway guys so thank you very much for staying this far hopefully I could see you next week when I make a guide on her build as well. And thank you guys for, you know, considering subscribing. For those who haven't subscribed yet, please do because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.